What is up, YouTube? HPJ here, and I'm sure you guys are excited about the reveal uh, that just happened a couple of hours ago. So if you guys don't know, well, I'm giving you guys a full video of everything that has been revealed for Dual Overload so far. So we got a massive um, overhaul of cards that have been revealed, and a lot of players are very excited for this reveal. This is amazing. Uh, just due to the fact that there's so many cards here that it is just the reprints are what really is me and the imports that have been uh, sent to us from OCG to TCG. So I'll be taking a look at all the cards here. Um, so pretty much what happened was uh, Joe McHale, the uh, one of the head guys in the TCG, uh, did a video yesterday. And he revealed pretty much a ton of cards that are going to be reprinted, show, reprinted and imported to the TCG from the OCG uh, in Dual Overload. If you guys don't remember what Dual Overload is, this is pretty much part of the Dual set, the Dual series, uh, where a lot of cards get reprinted, whether they're massive hand traps, great support cards, or just filling cards that we needed, or that finally get the chance to be printed here in the TCG. So... A lot of cards got revealed. Of course, we all know that um, Fantastical Dragon Phantasme is going to be part of this set. And there's a couple other cards that were included. So um, there is the video here on YGO Pro Organization. And then I will um, link you guys to this page uh, so you guys can watch. But well, the first card up is the... Maya Kashi Mayhem, Continuous Trap Card. If a zombie is a synchro monster, is special summoned except from the extra deck during the damage step, you can apply one of the following effects. You can own, you cannot apply the same effect of Maya Kashi Mayhem per turn. Yamakashi Mayhem per turn, sorry. Uh, for the rest of the turn, so, eh. New cards, trying to get used to the names. Uh, so the first effect is you draw one card. The second effect is you can set one Maya Kashi, uh, spell a child card directly from your deck, except for Maya Kashi Mayhem. You can send one monster with the lowest attack uh, your opponent controls to the graveyard, your choice if tied. Inflict 800 points of damage to your opponent. Uh, you can only activate the effect of Maya Kashi Mayhem once per chain. So this card has multiple effects, multiple usage. And it's just a really good card for um, pretty much zombie archetypes and then um, Mayakashi, which is also a zombie archetype itself. Then we have another new card. We have um, the reprint of Yuki, uh, yeah, Yukiona, the Absolute Zero Mayakashi. So the Link Monster for that archetype will be uh, reprinted. We also have the next card, which is the Continuous Spell. Hollow great hollow giants. Uh, you can activate this card only if both players control a monster that was special summoned from the extra deck. They get the effects of face up monsters that was special summoned from the extra deck. If a monster is destroyed by battle involving two monsters that were special summoned from the extra deck, you can send this card to the grave. Send this card to the graveyard. Also, the player who controls the destroyed monsters takes one thousand points of damage. So it's pretty much just an anti extra deck card um, with some great artwork. I have to say this. Beautiful artwork um, it has. Then we have some reprints as well. Of course, they did confirm uh, Fantastical Dragon Phantasma. We have Golden Castle Strongbird, White Giraffe, Swap Frog, and White Mare. Then we have our next set of reprints, Madolche Magellan and Madolche Chocla Princess Pudding Sess Chocla a la Mode. Then we have some new additions to it. Uh, we have a lot of the Cubic and Malefic cards being printed here in the TCG. We have Malefic Divide, Malefic Selector, Malefic Tune, Cubic Accession, Malefic Paradox Gear. Uh, we have Malefic Territory. We have Cubic Drama. And we have Cubic um, Casualty. Then we have another new card. So we have another additional Trap Trick monster. This is Trap Trick Genesella. Or Genesis. Yeah, Genesella. She's an Earth Attribute plant type monster. 1200 attack, 1600 defense. Unaffected by the effects of whole normal trap cards. You can tribute this card to set two, tra two whole normal trap cards with different names. One from your deck and from your graveyard will vanish. And when they leave the field, you can only use this effect of Trap Trick Genesella. 
Gina Alessia, okay, uh, Gina Alessia, uh, per turn. And I believe this is based off the Gina Alessia flower, which is uh, said to be very poisonous if you eat it raw. Yeah, you know, it's one of those kind of, it's, it's one of those deadly plants. Um, just like the rest of the tribe tricks, they're based off of plants or insects, um, that are very fatal and very crucial. Uh, so it's nice to see. And she has some beautiful artwork. But the main point of her is her effect, which she can pull normal trap cards, run from the deck and run from the graveyard and set them. Um, they are banished, but that is not a problem for trap tricks because you can see the all roaming abilities that they have as a uh, deck and as an archetype that deals with playing a lot of the normal traps and normal trap hole cards. Uh, next up, is of course the oversized cards, which he did reveal. Um, what I think it was Tur Guy from the Underworld manga style, uh, Stardust Dragon manga style, Cyber Infinity, Cyber Dragon Infinity manga style. Now let's get to the bigger um, setup here. He revealed a um, plus plethora of cards as well that are becoming to the TCG. Um, we have a total of 100 cards, uh, 30 new Link Monsters, 2 reprinted Link Monsters, 4 famous monsters with new artwork, uh, manga and movie cards. We have, um, what is it? Yeah, cards for specific strategies, and of course, 3 world premiere cards. So the reprints um, that he did show off, one is Signet Mining, which was in this picture right here. We have some more Bird of Sovereignty, who has his name changed, because in the OCG it was called a Samoyed Bird of Kings. We have Taiyu Spirit, Sashharasha, and we have Celestial King Lord Parsha, who I think was called Celestial Arc Lord, or Archangel Parsha. So the Link Monster for Parsha, Samoyed's Link Monster, and a Taiyu Spirit. Link monster are going to be coming here. Then we also have, of course, the five-headed link dragon, which was called five-headed god. What's called five god dragon? Or, yeah, five god link dragon in the OCG. We have some more links monsters. These are a lot of monsters that were printed in the links range packs that are coming here to TC. You have Ray Rapper Wise Tricks. We have Herald of Mirage Light. We have Condemned Dark Lord and Crossroad Dragon. Then we have, of course, Union Carrier, which is a card that a lot of people. Um, have been wanting to come to the TCG. Uh, this is probably part of the combos, of course, with some more Bread of Divinity, its ability to get Miss Valley Apex Avion, its ability, you have the ability of Union, Hanger to go get, um, to equip, uh, what is that monster? Oh, Miss Valley Thunderbird. So I'm pretty sure this card is going to be in high demand. We do have, um, of course, Chris Don, Helio, Corp Fiber. Uh, we have Bujinki, um, Ashim, Ash, um, Hashimina, Hashima, ha, yeah, Hashima, uh, which is the link monster for the Bujins. Of course, Kriston Needle Fiber, who had its name changed to Holly Queef Fregbix. We do have, of course, Paired Up Plant Verde Anaconda coming to TCG. So the fusion decks are going to, the fusion plays are going to see a lot more. We have DDD of its king. Uh, Gilgamesh, the DDD's um, Link Monster. Then we have some reprints, of course, of some very infamous cards. Tour Guide from the Underworld, uh, Chaos Dragon Leviathan, Cyber Dragon Infinity, and Sky Striker Ace Kagari. So these are the four cards that are getting the alternate artworks uh, for themselves here in the TCG. These were featured, I believe, in their Gold series. So a lot of those Gold Edition cards are getting reprinted here. From a special box, then we have um, and then Miss Judgment. We have Witchcraft Madame Bear, Witchcraft uh, Creation. We have Double Evolution Pill, Cyber Emergency, um, Magical Musketeer Casper, Magical Musketeer Starfire. We have uh, in a reprint of Cyber of um, Infinity Impermanence. So we have a lot of cards here, a lot of reprints, a lot of heavy cards in this set. So it won't be one of those 100% guarantee boxes where you get a box and you get everything. I think you'll have to literally pull a lot of these cards. Um, I did see a lot of cards drop in value, which is to be expected because reprint. Um, I think a lot of these cards are just probably going to be printed just to see how far 
a lot of both the casual and the competitive players who can get these cards will be able to get these cards or use these cards on their own. This is a lot of great cards coming out of this set. So this will be another one of those dual power money sets. Because um, last year around the same time, we did get the reprint of Infinity Impervience. And then a lot of other cards were also imprinted, reprinted as well. The only thing is, there are two cards missing from this that I would love to see. One being um, Pot of Extravagance. And two would be Evenly Matched. Just because those are some very high expensive cards right now in the game. That... Obviously, do need good reprint. The only one that I don't think needs to reprint right now, just because it is fresh off the market, I mean, fresh on the market, but a lot of people will probably wait to see if the Tins will probably have it, is, of course, Lightning Storm. But that's only just because of the fact it is still fresh and new. But the thing about Lightning Storm is that it's very, very situational. In my opinion, I think it's just a weaker down version of both. Lightning Vortex and Harpy's Feather Duster, because you have to control literally nothing for that card to actually trigger its own effect. Um, but it is nice to see a big portion of the reveals done here in, um, from dual, from dual overload, and it, it, it's, it's a lot of cards I will be looking forward to, especially some more, um, a Dolce Magdalene and, um, Chocolate Alamo's reprint, because I do need, um, those are just for novelty. I do need the Samorg. Um, I don't, I have Infinity Impervances, so I don't really necessarily need those. I probably picked up Verde because I am playing Shadal. And, um, hopefully some Union Tankers. I mean, some Union Carriers. I don't, we're probably expecting that to be one of the money cards. And, of course, Fantastic Dragon Fantasme, which I'm pretty sure is going to be like a $50, $40, $50 card at that point. I'd love to see what the re what the rest of the original looks like, because last we checked, um, they were dropping to about 90, which isn't much of a drop, because they, they were 90, so probably like 80 now, maybe 70, quotes, but yeah, let, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and, um, I will hopefully have some more stuff up for you guys, if they do decide to, um, Reveal some more from Dual Overload. Thanks, everybody. HPJ signing out. Take care.